Well, Pokemon Go was just released recently and a ton of people are picking up this simple game to play. If you didn't hear about Pokemon Go, it's a smartphone game in which you go out to explore your world and catch Pokemon. When you encounter a Pokemon, you just flick your finger on the Pokeball and try to capture the Pokemon. Currently, it's only for first generation of Pokemon. That being said, Pokemon Go is doing good for a lot of users, some bad as well, and some bizarre things that's been happening. Well, since Pokemon Go has been released, Nintendo's stock has rose 25%, which added $9 billion to its market value for Nintendo. It also currently the number one app on the App Store and has been downloaded 7.5 million times so far. It's still not released worldwide yet. Spotify said the Pokemon theme song has increased in plays up to 382%. Pokemon Go is about to surpass Twitter in daily active users on Android. Of course, after some time, it will decline, but still amazing how much users are playing Pokemon Go over using Twitter. One of the greatest things about Pokemon Go is more people are going on walks and exercising. Something Nintendo has always wanted to do is to create games in which people get up and move around. In order to catch a Pokemon, you need to go outside and explore. Who knows, you might even find a date while you're on a walk to catch Pokemon. The Reddit user Unity Tree Savior was just walking around his town when he met a girl who was also playing Pokemon Go, which stirred up a conversation and scored him a date. People around my workplace were even talking about Pokemon Go today, so we all connected to this simple game. It might actually be a better app than Tinder when it comes to finding love. Well, there have been also some bad things coming from this popular game. It seems like armed robbers have been using Pokemon Go to rob other users and pointed a handgun at them. So it's best not to walk around alone at night in shady areas because you never know what's looking around at night. It might be a ghost Pokemon or something much worse. Another guy was searching for Pokemon at 3 a.m., which he lived close to a few Pokestops and a gym. He ran into two guys at night, which also played Pokemon. They talked about how they caught an Onyx, and then the guy had a conversation together when all of a sudden, a cop pulls by, and they had to convince the cop they weren't dealing drugs and just playing Pokemon. Then after dealing with the cops and the hassle from that, the cop himself downloaded the game and asked how to get started. Also, be careful what Pokemon app you download. Make sure it's the official one because there's a fake app out there which are installing backdoors on Android devices. So your phone may be hacked if you download the wrong app. Another thing that's been going on is kids are venturing into restricted areas and hospitals. I wouldn't be surprised if people don't venture into other restricted places, but you might want to stay away from Area 51, even if there's a Mewtwo behind the fence. It's not worth getting shot over catching a Pokemon. And now for the most bizarre story that happened. A girl was searching for a Pokemon, jumped the fence, and headed towards the nearest river to catch a Pokemon. She headed towards the bridge, saw something in the river, she had to take a second look, and there was a dead body just lying there. Police say that death was accidental, and it looks like no foul play has happened. It just goes to show you, when you go out exploring for Pokemon, you might not always find what you're looking for. Though if it wasn't for Pokemon Go, who knows if that body would have been found for a while. There are some stories I'm surprised I haven't heard about yet, such as pedophiles using it to get children, or car accidents because somebody was trying to find the Pokemon while behind the wheel. There had been a fake story about a traffic accident though. What do you guys think about everything that's been going on since Pokemon Go has been released? Did you hear anything that I haven't talked about? And how many Pokemon have you caught so far? By the way, I've been playing it myself, so check out my Instagram to see some of the Pokemon I have caught. And as always, have a smashing day!